Last week, we created a video where we used a particle counter to measure the aerosol production while using the EMS airflow system. We concluded that using four-handed dentistry made extra oral aerosols undetectable. It was a solid conclusion, but an impractical one for most clinicians. I challenged the viewers to send me their intraoral aerosol capturing equipment, and it didn't take long before I had a number of gadgets and gizmos to try. In this five minute clip, we're going to demonstrate three different units, the Kona adapter, the Isovac, and the PureVac, as well talk a little bit about the Tipidilly, the relief suction system, and the Hager double-sided mirror suction. You might remember in our video demonstrating the experimental conditions, a particle measurement of under 15 is considered safe. And we were able to stay under 6 with four-handed dentistry using an 8mm bore high volume evacuation unit with at least 300 liters per minute suction. Once the aerosols leave the oral cavity, you're dependent on a secondary system. So our focus is on capturing the aerosols before they leave the patient's mouth. We started with the suction off and immediately we created high levels of detectable aerosol from the EMS powder. When the Kona adapter high volume suction is activated, uh, the particles are rapidly reduced. The suction is really quite effective and powerful. The unit was very effective in the posterior areas, but the anterior area was a bit more challenging. I should mention that this was also the first time Colleen, our hygienist, was using any of the suction systems that, uh, that we're showing you today. Once the suction had been on for a while, the numbers were reduced to safe levels. It was more effective in the, in the posterior area uh, than the anterior, uh, as it would be with, with all devices. Next, we used the Isovac, and this proved a bit more challenging in controlling the aerosols, uh, especially in the anterior area. It was really difficult to control aerosols, as, as you see by the high numbers being generated here. I can certainly see the advantage of this unit for doing restorative dentistry in a specific area, uh, but it's a bit cumbersome if you want to do the entire mouth. Here we're almost at 300. But it was also the first time that we worked with this unit. The next unit we used was the PureVac uh, system from Dentsply, and we used it in combination with an Optrogate keep the lips out of the way as we would do for GBT. This allowed excellent aerosol containment and the clinician had much better visibility of the whole mouth. It was more efficient as you didn't need to readjust the position to treat the opposite of the mouth either. It was also quite light to hold the mirror, which was a benefit. So all three units were better at aerosol collection than what we were doing before the pandemic, which was using a regular saliva ejector and our standard Hager double-sided mirror suction. What I love about the pandemic is that it gives us the opportunity to become even better than we were before. I love that we're constantly improving and seeking ways to maximize our ability to treat patients uh, better than ever before. So what I would tell you today is that the gold standard for guided biofilm therapy or ultrasonic instrumentation uh, in non-surgical periodontal therapy is would be using four-handed dentistry. That's clearly the best way to do things. But again, not practical for, for most of us. So based on our real-life testing conditions, my recommendation would be to use a PureVac with an Optrigate. You could also use a Kona adapter and the Isovac. Um, it just is a little trickier for, for treating the whole mouth at a time. Uh, I didn't show you the relief hands-free suction, the Tipidilly, and the Hager double-sided mirror suction, all used in conjunction with a saliva ejector. And each of these three modalities didn't pass. Uh, I didn't show you a the video of this, it was just too damn messy. Uh, but they are really effective, these units, at suctioning saliva. Uh, but the bore of the suction is, is likely too small to effectively control aerosol production, at least it was in our hands.
They all have merit, um, but not for the purpose we're focusing on in our tests. So with that, I'll leave you with the mantra, never stop learning, the world around you never stops teaching you. 